Today I'm going to show you how to do an advanced inspection on a load offer using mobile phone. Basically this just means that you'll need to take a few more photos of pickup and delivery. If you're watching this you know how to do a regular inspection from my other tutorial. You should also have a phone to accept a load offer. I'll use a computer to accept a load offer in another, vi another video. If you do not know how to use or how to do a regular inspection I will link that video in the description below this video if you need to watch it. Okay let's start. First, you will get a load offer from a broker in two places. One is an email to the email attached to your Super Dispatch profile, and another is a text message to your phone number. I'm using my Google Voice number as my primary phone number for my Super Dispatch carrier profile, so I'll open Google Voice to view the text message that contains the load offer. Here, you're going to see the load offer at the bottom. Click the blue link where it says View Offer Details. It needs to open in a web browser, so click whichever web browser you have on your phone. All iPhones come installed with Safari, so I'm going to use Safari. Click Open. This takes you to the load details of the load offer. At the top, it tells you when you got this load offer. Mine was 20 seconds ago. All the information here is just like any other load offer, so click Accept in the lower right-hand corner. You'll assign it to a driver now, and John is already on my list of drivers here, so I'm going to assign it to him instead of adding another driver. Now he's going to get a notification on his phone that he has a load. So as John, I'm going to log into the Super Dispatch app. This is where you're first going to see that this is an advanced inspection. Every advanced inspection ha will have a blue advanced circle here at the bottom. My broker put instructions, so when I open the load, it immediately opened to the instructions, so you can't miss them. Click confirm at the bottom of the screen to notify that you've seen them. Now that we're back in the load details screen, you're ready to start pickup inspection. At the top, it says that this load has a mandatory location and exterior inspection on this broker's requirements. Next to the vehicle information here, it says that there are zero out of six photos completed and that the interior inspection is not complete. You can either click this to start inspection to begin pickup or to use the scan VIN button to start scanning a VIN to verify that this car is in the load that you were offered. If you try to click continue to pick, up, to pick up signature, it will tell you that you have to complete the pickup interior and exterior inspection first. So here you can click inspect or not now and then start inspection. Now the camera opens to the photo inspection. Assuming you have given Super Dispatch permission to take photos, your camera will immediately open and be ready to take photos. During an advanced photo inspection, all six photos are labeled in red at the bottom. For example, this first photo instructs you to take a photo of the front driver corner, including the wheel or tire. Now it asks for the front windshield. This little sports car doesn't have a windshield, but imagine that it does, and that's what I'm going to take a photo of. These photos are designed so you can walk around the car in a circle, starting at the right side. Now I'm taking a photo of the keys for the final photo. And in the top right hand corner it says 6 out of 6 for 6 out of 6 photos taken. Once you've taken all 6 photos, it's going to automatically open up the damage codes to begin marking damages. But if you don't see these damage codes on the left side of the screen, click this little button with a car and an explosion on it and that's what will open the damage codes. So now that you can mark damages just like normal on either the wireframe BOL or the photos by selecting the damage code from the scroll bar on the left and tapping the spot on the photo where you see the damage. Pickup damages will be in yellow, while delivery damages will be in green. I see lots of scratches here, so I'm going to put the BOL first and then put them on the BOL first, then indicate on the car photos afterwards. Once finished, click Done in the upper right hand corner. Now you're on the interior inspection screen. The odometer is required, as is taking stock of the loose items in the car, and so I'm going to say like, yes, it's drivable, and then it has a windscreen, which is also known as a windshield, even though mine doesn't actually have a windshield, and that all of the glass on the car is intact. And all these are just going to be potential loose items that would be in the car or that are all at all related to the car. So if there are headphones or a charger cable in there, make sure to mark that yes, they're there. Contact our support team, though, if through your profile, if you need more help with this part. Once finished here, click save in the upper right hand corner. Now this will take you back to the load details page and the vehicle says here 6 out of 6 photos required and there's a green box with a check mark over the photos. At this point you can still edit the inspection if you need to by clicking edit inspection. If you did not take all the photos there would not be this check mark here and the photos part will be red and say something like 4 out of 6 required. You're going to be on this page again in case you have more cars to pick up, but since you finished your inspection for the only car that you have, you're going to click continue to pick up signature at the bottom of the screen. Now you need to get the signature for pickup. This opens up to the signature page and you have to click 
add customer signature and find a person to sign for the pickup. If you can't find one, you're going to have to mark it as STI, which is subject to inspection. If there is a person, pick up person, hand the phone over to that person and get them to print their name and then sign with their finger and click save in the upper right hand corner. This is, will take you back to the signature page where you can click mark as picked up. If you haven't already added your signature to the profile yet, it's going to ask you to do that here. But if you have, your signature will already be in the upper right hand corner here. Now your load is picked up, so you can send the BOL or click done. When you press done, it will take you back to the order screen. Now your load is highlighted in yellow instead of blue and it says picked up. So now you're going to just do the identical process for delivery. So click this box and then it opens again to the load details screen. And again, you're going to see your vehicle listed. But now it has the zero out of six required photos in red again because this is now a delivery inspection. So click edit inspection to start the delivery inspection. This is going to open the camera again and you'll take the same six photos and mark any new damages that might have occurred in transit. Once again, the damage codes will open up on the left side of the screen after all six photos have been taken. And whenever you mark them, they're going to appear in green. Ideally, no damages are going to appear during transit, so hopefully you won't have to mark any at all. Once finished, you will click done in the upper right hand corner and fill out the interior inspection. All of this information is still saved from the pickup inspection, so if it's still accurate, just click save in the top upper right hand corner of the screen. Again, your inspection is complete here when the photo has a check mark and the photo say six out of six required. Click continue to delivery signature. Now you can get the customer signature or click subject to inspection. And once done, since your signature is still there, you can just click mark as delivered. So now your load is delivered. And I always suggest the next thing to do is, to, is for the driver to send the invoice immediately after delivering a load. We automatically create invoices and BOLs for you based on the information saved in these loads. And if you go to send an invoice, you just need to fill out the invoice ID, however you choose to number your invoices. This is my first load ever, so I'm just going to start by numbering my invoices at 001 and then count up chronologically. Now you can just choose payment terms from our selection here. This will allow you to request whatever payment terms you want for your invoice. Once this page has been filled out, click next in the upper right hand corner. This is going to take you to the email screen. If a broker sent you a load offer, this email will already be filled out. I also suggest clicking the plus button to add yourself to the email list as well. Finally, click send invoice via email. And now it's in the delivered tab on your loads page and you're done.